everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Minion Cobra and I make minimalist videos. So today's video is called How I Over... Ugh. How I Overcame the Fear of Money. Okay, okay so um, today I'm going to be talking about how I overcame my fear of money and I'm going to be talking about um, self-worth how like things I was like afraid of and how I overcame it uh, then I'm going to be talking about the distinction between um, keeping up with the Jones and um, just dressing well so I'm going to be like talking about those as we go through the video so without further ado let's get it let's go Woo! if you've been watching my um, videos recently you'll see that um, I've kind of had like a little bit of change of attitude and how I like use minimalism to help better my life um, for one I've been practicing more self-love and a little bit more self-indulgence so um, yeah in one of my videos I talked about how um, I had overcome like a lot of things to get me to a place where I could indulge in myself again but I still had one more that I needed to overcome and that was uh, overcome the fear of money so I did a little bit of research I read some books I read this book um, what do you call it? The Magic of Thinking Big. Um, I kind of went back and read like Rich Dad Poor Dad and give me like a little bit more like insight into like how I could like solve this. And um, I actually had a really big conversation with Will that also helped me a lot. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Let's go. Woo! Okay, so um, to kind of like talk about, for those of you who may not have seen my other videos, what this fear is that I'm talking about. It's that fear of that like, I didn't want to buy anything last year. I spent like all of 2017, 2016, I think a bit of 2015 too. Just like being really cheap on myself and not buying anything. And it was just mostly for like this fear of money. Because before, I used to spend all my money. All my money. I was broke all the time. So like broke in the sense of like no money, right? Like I couldn't even buy food because I was so broke. So now that I've become, you know, like a minimalist, blah, 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 blah. Which, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know I only became, like, the main reason I became a minimalist was because I wanted to save money. So I was like, wow, okay, I can kill two birds in one stone, you know, lifestyle change and put money in the pocket. So, um, for those three years that, like, I've been, like, really hardcore minimalist, um, I managed to put a lot of money in my pocket and I've been really happy about that. So I thought that if I bought stuff again, you know, with, like, a little bit more than I have been, or if I indulged myself a little bit, that, oh my god, it's a slippery slope. I'm going to go back to my old ways and I'm, and I'm just going to end up like spending it all and like I'm screwed. But um, actually, I found that that's not actually the case. Um, where like this fear of like I was like scared to like spend on myself because I'm like if I spend the money then I don't have the money and then what? But I got to talking about Will about kind of like we kind of had like a little bit of an argument over the shoes that I recently bought, which I think I'll upload in my vlog. Um, I bought three pairs of Nike shoes, and I was like, oh my god, what have I done? Da -da -da, blah, blah, blah. Like, I went crazy. I bought three pairs of shoes. That's like, that's not a minimalist. That's something a minimalist would do, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, I have two different size feet. I have size, um, size eight and seven feet, so I can't wear the same. Like, it's really hard for me to find pairs of shoes. So I have literally just been rocking the same, like, boots and shoes, and that's it. So, I have two pairs of shoes, and I just, I don't let myself buy stuff because, I, well, that and shoes, it's not I don't let myself, it's just, it's just so hard to come across a pair of shoes. It's like, the only shoes that fit me are, like, Nike Air Maxes. So, I was like, I bought them because they were on sale, and I was, like, really happy, but I bought three of them, so I was like, oh my god, what have I done? And so this, like, led to a little bit of a fight with Will. Oh, if you guys want to see them. Ah! Yeah, like... Well, I was like, what is this fear? Where, where's this fear coming from? And then I was like, well, you know, I should be a good, fin you know, fi I should be financially savvy and I should be putting money away for my retirement. It's kind of silly. Not really. No, I do think you should be putting away for your retirement. And I am. I do, I do put money aside for stuff like, you know, my stocks and, um, you know, safety money, safety net. But it was like, I wasn't even living my life at all. And it was just like, and then I was like, then after we got over that, it's like, you're only 20-something, like, what do you, you know, you still gotta live your life. Then I was like, oh yeah, but, you know, I have student debt. He's like, okay, so then we addressed that, and then it was like, we came to the conclusion that, you know, the government doesn't give a shit if I have three pairs of shoes. You know what I mean? Like, I still need to live. I still need to wear shoes, you know? Like, there's a reason why there's, like, payment plans to, like, pay it back, because you still need to live. You know? I'm all for people, you know paying it all off in one chunk and being like blah 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 but that's like they've already graduated I'm still in school I, I haven't <clears throat> I haven't gotten my job as a dentist to start like making back like the hardcore payments I'm disciplined enough and I know that I'm going to do it when I get there but I'm not there yet so like trying to like scrimge by like as a student to the point where like I was just driving myself crazy was just not mentally sound once I got past that like okay I still need to live once I realized that I could like use my money to like 
live. Like, I'm not even talking, like, splurging. I'm just talking to live, you know? It was, it's just, like, I don't know how to explain it. I think for you fellow minimalists out there, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about, where it's, like, you, you're, like, always living in, like, the zone of, like, deficit because you're, like, just so scared to, like, bring in things back into your life. That, that's just where I've been living at for, like, the longest time, and I just, I got so sick of it. I just kind of needed to, like, indulge a little bit, you know, like, to, like, be normal, not even, like, oh, you know, like, shopaholic, nothing like that, just to, like, yeah, I own one more pair of shoe or, like, buy myself a sweater, you know, you know what I mean? So, when I was talking with Will, um, he said, like, something really powerful. He's, like, practice self-worth. Like, at the end of it all, like, when you're, like, living your life and you're practicing self-worth, that's what it is. It's just, like, um, I spend that money because I... I believe I have worth. I deserve or I, I am worthy of the things that I will spend my money on for myself. Like I am worth that new pair of shoes, you know? You know what I mean? That he, When he said that, I was like, wow, yeah. Like if I'm, you know, like I'm always being so cheap on myself. Like what worth am I giving myself? But when he said that, that like really blew my mind, you know? Practicing self-worth. I'm worth, I'm worth my money. Like so it was just like once I ever became those, overcame those things, it was just like, okay, all right. I see it with a different perspective, and then once I had that in my mind, I did a bit more research, and I was like reading, um, yeah, I was reading the the magic of thinking big. It was talking about how like being well dressed, and one of the like things that I've always been extremely conflicted about was like the idea of being well dressed. I feel like that's just like a ploy, you know, from people like companies to like get you to like spend your money on like fancy clothes and blah 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 blah. But the book was saying be well dressed. And then the book broke it down into like a really interesting way. Like just, just bear with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk it out. It's that um, um, people see you based on how you dress yourself because you choose to dress yourself that way within, within like you know, um, to a certain standard. You know what I mean? Like how much you can afford, right? And then people, and then he's like, so he emphasized the point. Like people judge you and treat you based on how you look. So that's the image you present to other people, right? If you dress like a bum, people are gonna treat you like a bum. Like duh, right? Like People are not people are not complicated creatures. They're just gonna treat you based on appearance, regardless of your personality. As sad as that is, right? And then um, he was saying like, so you need to dress well because you owe it to other people, but more so you owe it to yourself, because just as how other people see you and how you dress, you see yourself how you dress. When you put on the clothes, that's a choice you make of how you want to present yourself to the world. Like that's how you choose to to represent yourself. That's the choice you make. Not somebody else makes, you make. And the thing that I wanted to like iterate about this that he didn't really touch upon, but the thing that conflicted me the most was dress well is a relative term. You don't have to spend millions to dress well. You dress well within your means. And then the book states that, um, and I'm paraphrasing here, it was like people ask, oh, but I can't afford to dress well, and which he said, so the solution to that is pay twice and own less. And it's like, whoa, minimalism, woo! Yeah, it's it's amazing because that's exactly what I'd been kind of practicing. Like, I don't know if you guys seen my other videos, I talk about where I don't shop from the sales section. I pay more and I get my pickings from my cut, the cut, the sizing, the fabrics, the materials, the colors. I get to choose from that which best suits me and I pay a little more to have that versus shopping out of the sales section where it's like, I'm just hoping they have my size and hoping it's in a decent color and let's see if this cut looks decent. Like, I was like, no, none of that, none of that. If I'm only going to own, you know, two, three pairs of shoes, a couple shirts, and a bag, this stuff needs to fit me to the T, because I use this all the time. Um, I think I read in uh, Less Is More, the author talked about when she was in Paris, her, like, homestay host. She's, like, this lady who's, like, not, she wasn't a minimalist, but her practices were, like, minimalism, because when she went to her house for the first time, she saw, like, the, the author was like, oh, she dressed so nice for me the first time we met. And then the next day, and then the next day, and then she realized she only owned a few nice things that she wore every single day. So she looked fantastic every single day, and it was just effortless because she dressed well, and that was the impression that she gave to people. But it's because it's just, it's so much easier to, like, live like that. So I was like, wow. And so all of these things that I've just been, like, talking about have really helped me overcome my fear of money. And let's see if there's anything else. Another thing that I want to talk about is the distinction between keeping up with the Joneses and dressing well, which is a thing that like I struggled with. I 
refused to like buy things because I thought I was kind of keeping up with the Jones and then therefore still stuck in the rat race. The same thing as like Rich Dad Poor Dad. He's like, you need to get out of it, blah, blah, blah. And like, I felt like when I wasn't buying things, I was out of the rat race. And I was like, yeah, woo. But I wasn't doing myself any favors that way. And I kind of want to iterate why because of the distinction between keeping up with the Joneses and dressing well. Okay, so the first one is um, dressing well is something that if you're buying quality so it lasts longer so that's the difference when you keep up with the Jones what you own you don't own it for a long period of time because you're constantly upgrading so yeah maybe it's good quality maybe it's not qual bad quality that's not the point the point is you don't own it for long you buy it and then you have to go out and buy the latest thing like seasonally da 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 so that's the distinction between dressing well and keeping up with the Joneses there there's overlap of course but that's the that's where I draw the distinction I can dress well and I can look nice and I can look like that for a long period of time because I'm not keeping up with the Joneses which brings me to my next point it's personal desire so keeping up with the Jones is not really representative of what you like it's constantly upgrading to whatever other companies tell you you should look like you know there's nothing wrong with wanting to improve yourself that's fine but that's again at your own pace That's a personal thing when you keep up with the Jones you're keeping up with the Jones. It's what the Jones want to look like, what the Jones want to own and want to have. It's not what you want. When they change, then you got to keep up with them and change with them, even though you may or may not be in a position to do that. But when you dress well, it's at your own pace and at your own means and it's at your own... It's, it's, it's for you. It's, it's essentially what it is. You know, like when you, you've worn something out for a very long time and you feel like, okay, I'm ready to change. So you change, right? So you upgrade. So you you improve you do whatever and it's, it's at it's for you you know like dressing well it's also part of like your health right like when you like look good you take care of yourself then you, you you feel more motivated to like dress well like it's it's a representation of how you value yourself when you have a good bod it means you value your body when you dress well it means you value your appearance you value you your position among other people you know and that we're social creatures that, that, that does matter on some level you know like a lot of people feel like oh I want to cut myself off from that I don't want to be a part of that and that's fine you can go ahead and do that but right now we're talking about how I overcame my fear of money and that was kind of like at the root of it I was just so scared that if I bought something I'd be joining the rat race and I'd be keeping up with the Jones but that's not the case so, yeah that kind of um, sums up everything that I've seen um, See, that's that wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about with you guys. So that's just kind of like in conclusion, however came the fear of money. One, I gotta live for myself. I can't live for the government. That's not gonna do me any well. I, I can't live in fear of student debt and that prevents me from living for today. Uh, second, if I want to dress well, I will because that is a different thing from keeping up with the Jones because when I keep dress well, I buy quality and therefore it lasts longer. And three, um, self-worth. I'm worthy of my own, you know, I'm worthy of my own money. Just like all other things that I have to pay for, I'm deserving of it too, you know? Like, as great as it is to have that much money in the bank, but if I'm just, you know, not even, like, treating myself with worth, then what the hell, guys? So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to leave any comments down below, you guys know I always reply and I love you guys' comments. Like, that interaction is just is great. You guys are, like, the best community I could have ever asked for. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah. Oh yeah, one last point that I wanted to make before I like sign off again. Um, if you're wondering how does this all have to do still with like minimalism, well the whole point is even though I'm going to indulge myself, I'm only going to buy quality, a few quality things, that, that's it, like things that I need. So like for me, uh, for example, like I know like my feet sizes are like wonky, I'm going to buy good quality shoes and I'm going to do that instead of buying a bunch of like crappy shoes and then it doesn't even fit my feet, right? Like, I'm gonna indulge in a few good quality shoes that I really like, even if I have to pay full price, but I'm happy. I have like one or two and it, it'll last me because I'm, and while I'm using it, it'll already be wearing quality, like better quality already to begin with. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make that last point. So, you know, is this thing? Yeah, this is fine. Okay.